few apps continue to release amazing new tools and new features one after another. Besides the obvious like ChatGPT, some of my favorite AI apps continue giving us new awesomeness time and time again. We have Leonardo AI, Canvas AI features, Midjourney, and even Adobe Firefly. But now this tool is a definite VIP. Not only do they continue to release amazing AI updates, but they're quickly becoming an MVP known as an all-in-one AI creator. And today we're looking at another awesome update from FreePick. It's called Designer. This is a design tool that's slick, user-friendly, 100% online, and packs FreePick's AI magic, plus their awesome resource library into one amazing tool. Gone are the days of being fully dependent on Photoshop, Illustrator, or having to hire an expensive graphic designer. Updates like this are making the creation and editing process easier and easier. And when you combine it with AI, you're going to receive an explosion of creativity. Check the links in the description. Okay, so here we are in Free Pick Designer. Now, in my opinion, here are the top three things that you can do in Designer. Create AI images to add into your design without leaving the editor. Use the AI writer to instantly generate awesome text or improve yours and translate your text into any language. But there's also a lot more and we'll be covering that as well. So here we are on Free Picks Twitter, I mean X page right here. And here it is. Say hello to Free Pick Designer, your new go-to online editor. Okay, so we scroll down. Again, here are the three things I mentioned earlier, only three of the top things that you could do with it. And this text sums it up perfectly. Design everything, everywhere, all at once, from social media posts to invitations or epic posters. And then you can see right here, resize to adapt your content effortlessly, keep your files neat and tidy with projects, and remove backgrounds in a single click for a polished look. Easy. And then you can see some of the examples it provides over here on their post. Amazing. Okay, so check this out right here. We have a stack of pancakes. With AI, you can add AI images, all with just a powerful prompt. And then you could change and edit the design time and time again until you get it right. This includes using the AI writer text to improve any prompt, improve all your text, and make it more fun or engaging. And then it says on this post, choose from over 24,000 available templates and let your creativity fly. Okay, so with that said, let's just go ahead and then try this ourselves. Okay, so here is what we're gonna do first. I'm gonna come over here. For the most amazing Leonardo AI prompts database. My mega prompts databases, and I actually have two of them. This one right here is one of my favorites. It's gonna be the Leonardo AI mega prompts database, and it consists of over a thousand prompts that includes every single detail you would need to get images that may look like this. Most databases I've seen only contain just text, just the prompt, but you're not gonna know exactly what kind of image you're gonna get. In these databases, you're gonna get the actual image, every single preset that was used, unique keyword, and is organized with tags and filters. So we have my Leonardo one right here, and then I also have my ChatGPT mega database, which includes AI images for not only Leonardo AI, but Midjourney, Dali, Adobe Firefly, etc. Prompts for content, social media, and YouTube, AI art styles, and then prompt engineers, or prompts that generate prompts. But I think pretty soon, I'm gonna actually have to add one for free pick, because in one of my videos coming up, I discovered a way to actually turn free pick into a prompt engineering machine. I'll show you that coming up in a future video. But for today, we specifically wanna focus on designer. So the first thing I'm going to do is quickly scroll through a couple of these images or these prompts that made these images. Once I find one I want to work with, we're going to use this prompt in free pick. So how about this wolf right here? Let me expand this actual image and this prompt, and I'm going to go ahead and copy the whole entire thing, okay? Once I have it copied, I'm going to head back over to free pick designer. And as a summary, you could see everything it could do, okay? Like I said, tons of edible templates, top AI tools and features, and now that's why I love this so much because you can actually use AI tools in the designer itself, including AI writer for text and for AI images. This is pretty fascinating. So you could see here, create AI images without having to leave your design or your edits, okay? Tell your ideas in any language. You can translate any text to any language, make designs everywhere. So with resize, you can adapt your content to any platform. So within the designer, you can create Instagram, 
Instagram posts, YouTube thumbnails, TikToks, whatever it may be at the exact size and aspect ratio you're needing. And then it has organizational structure to keep your files neat. So it's very simple. You start with just picking a template from the library. After you have a template selected, then you can edit with features and AI tools. I can make my text better. I can generate images, etc. Once you have your design the way you want it, then just simply download it. Now you have an awesome template you can use or a design you can use for anything. Now let's just go ahead and select start creating. Let's go right into it. And this is what is going to pop up. So notice this, as soon as you're in here, our templates automatically are displayed over here on the left hand side. So I can quickly scroll through a few of these. However, I can also do a quick search and I just typed in future as in futuristic. As I scroll through some of these, I can select any sort of template I may like. If I don't like any of these, I can easily change up my search. So I just typed in Insta and I can select Instagram stories. Okay, let's select Instagram stories. Now I have a template for this one. If I want to change it up, remove stories, and then I can just do Instagram post. Okay, Instagram post. And now you can see immediately it's going to change up my aspect ratio to more of a square or a one by one. So this looks pretty cool. So let's just start with something very simple. So in this case, here we go. Let's go with um, this first one right here. I'm going to select this one. It's going to expand it to give me more of the remaining pages I can use. That way I can create page after page, leaving my design and color scheme consistent. If I like it, go ahead and select this first one. Now it's added as my first page. If I want to add a second page down here at the bottom, select add new page. Now, once I'm in page number two, now I can select a different style. So now I have two pages, one and two, okay? Let's go back to one. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is figure out what we're gonna actually have on this post right here. Let's first start with changing up our image simple enough. So here's what I'm going to do. If I select this image right here, I can then select replace. Okay. Once I'm in replace, I can either upload my own media or I can search for media in free pick itself. Again, they have a ton of stock photos and items that you can use. Let's just say I like this one for starts. I select it and now here it is. It's already right here in my image. If I don't like it, I can come back and then add something completely different again. Okay. Let's just say I want to go with something like this instead. Now, there we have that, okay? So the next thing, you can replace that image, but let's just take things to the next level. I'm gonna go ahead and add a third page and make this one completely blank. Now, over on the left-hand side in these columns, you have what's called tools down here at the very bottom. Select tools. Now we have our powerful AI tools populate, okay? Let's first start with the first one, text to image. Select text to image, okay? So I can either find inspiration or I can just go ahead and try it. Select try it. Now now this box is going to populate and pull up prompt explain what you would like to see. Now I can refresh my gallery. I can get more advanced options. And again, I have all my styles down here at the bottom, but since I already have what sort of image I want to use, let's go back to my database and make sure I have this copied. Now I know this really isn't relevant to AI, but let's just use this wolf as an example. Okay. I have that prompt selected. I'll come back over here in the free pick and now I'm pasting the same exact prompt right here. Okay. Now select a generate image. Now, after about 30 seconds, we're going to get four images. Now, there you go. This was actually more like seven seconds. And now I have four images to use. Beautiful. If I like any of these, just go ahead and select one. Let's select this one in the top left-hand corner and I'll say include in my design. And now there you have it. There is that image right here in my design. If I don't like it, and once my image is in here, I can even edit things even further by selecting a mask. So if I select mask on the right hand side, I have a plethora of options that populate. Let's select this one to make it more of a circle. In one click, it masked it into like more of a circle. Let's do it into a triangle. The same thing with all these different shapes. It happens so quick in real time. It's creating these cool looking frames with this simple mask button. This is fantastic. Okay. I can even select filters and on the right hand side, select from a few different options. As I go over them, look how how my image actually transforms, okay? And then 
I have even more options on the right hand side below my filters. Now one cool thing is if I select image details right above my image, this is going to populate and it's going to give me the exact prompt that was used. Very helpful. Now that's our third page right here. This is just for complete examples. Now the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add a fourth page and we're going to try this one more time. Okay. Now I'm on my fourth page and find another prompt we want to use. Let's open up this superhero one of uh, this Venom character right here. Okay. Let's see if we can get an image that closely resembles this one. Back to free pick. And now we're going to do AI image generation again, paste this prompt in and now select generate image. Okay. Amazing. Beautiful. All these images look fantastic. So let's go ahead and select one. How about bottom right hand corner include in my design. Okay. Here is this image of Venom, this character. Now watch this. Now with the image selected in one click in the top left hand corner where it says remove BG, that means remove background, select it. It's going to remove the background now of my Venom character. This tool has been so priceless because it really does a good job, look at this, of removing the background. I no longer have that navy blue background and now it's going to fit seamlessly on this one right here. If I want to change the background of my actual slide, I can just select a background color and now look, I can change different colors, even add a gradient one. Now check this out. Change the color scheme up to make it more gradient to really make it stand out. Check this out. This is amazing. And now with that background remover tool, look how flawlessly Venom just fits in there with this awesome looking unique gradient colored background. This is fantastic. Okay. So we have these two things that we've already done with our AI generation tool. Let's go back over here to the first slide. And now let's come down here and change up our text completely. So with this being said, let's go to the left hand side and click on tools again. Now we're going to select AI writer. Okay. AI writer populates. And now right here in this prompt box, say you're going to ask AI to write any text you need. And right here, it's going to give you a few prompt inspiration ideas that you can already use. This first one may not be bad at all. Let's just go ahead and select this for prompt inspiration. Okay. I selected this one that says ideas to improve the social media presence of my business. And just like that, it's going to add it right here. Now this text obviously doesn't blend in well because it's black. Let's change the color very quickly to white. Now that it's white, I can see it better. With that said, I need to make everything fit. So I'll just remove this text over here for now, expand this out and then remove everything else that really doesn't make sense. Okay. Okay. Now that I have this text in here on this first slide, this is what the AI writer gave me. Okay. Create engaging content, run contest or giveaways. Let's come in here and highlight this text right here. Now with this text highlighted or clicked on now, check this out. Now we have this little magic wand button above in this taskbar. Go ahead and select it. Sort of like Canva Magic, right? Now, with that button selected, I can give instructions. Without giving instructions, though, I could first select rewrite text, make it shorter, make it longer, or change tone. If I change tone, let's make it more casual. Just like that, AI is writing. It's going to transform it to make it more casual. And then there it is. Let's come over here and select this box again, and then that magic button. And now let's give AI my instructions. I'll say make it funner and make it longer. Here we go. Select generate, same text. Now it's going to make it more funner and a little bit longer. And just like that, it does a fantastic job. Now I want to show you one secret. Watch this. I'm going to go ahead and add a fifth slide. With this being said, let's go back to the left hand side to AI writer again. Watch this. I'm going to come over here into my database one more time and look and find a prompt. Okay. Let's look at this one with this cool looking neon shirt shoe right here. Check it out. I think this did a fantastic job generating these neon Nikes. I'm going to go ahead and copy the whole entire prompt right here. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here in the free pick. I'm not using AI yet. I'm going to come up here and then select text. Okay. Left hand, left hand side, top left, and I'm going to select add body text. Now my body text default comes in here. Paste the prompt that's in my Airtable database. There is my prompt. Okay. Now let's change the color up. So it's a little easier to read. I'll make it white and I'll even bold it. Okay. Here it is right here. There is this prompt right here. Okay. Now check this out. Now what I'm going to do is let's do two things. Let's first take this prompt right here, hit that AI writer magic wand button again. And now let's say rewrite text. Okay. Let's just say rewrite the text. Now, just like that, it's rewriting my text. Perfect. Here's the cool thing. Now I'm basically taking a prompt that I had in my Airtable database, but now with that prompt, I'm going to use AI writer 
to get more of the same prompts. So they're going to be completely different, but I have now the ability to get prompt after prompt all because of FreePix AI Writer. So I'll just quickly show you what I meant. Let's go back to tools and go back to text to image. Okay. Select try it. Now I'm going to take that prompt that FreePix just gave me and now select generate image. Remember, this was derived from this prompt right here. Okay. I already have this prompt. I fed it the free pick and I basically said rewrite it. Okay. Once it rewrites it, look, it rewrote it. And based off of free picks rewriter, now I'm going to get these images right here. These look amazing. Once I discover one I like, just add it into my design. And there it is beautiful. And remember, once it's added in my design, remove my background, I'll have that shoe all alone by itself that will fit flawlessly on any sort of background. And just like that, there we go. Okay, not bad. The only thing we're missing is it just missed a small portion on the very front of the shoe, but no big deal. So there you have it. Another amazing update by Free Pick. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And there's going to be a lot more videos about Free Pick coming up very soon because they just keep releasing new update after new update update. But thanks so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.